Hello everyone, today is a very special garden reviews because it is snowing and my dogs are very excited about it. <laughs> She's literally been doing this all day. <laughs> so the first book I have is Snow Falling by Jane Gloriana Villanueva, who you may know as Jane the Virgin. This is a tie-in to the TV show. The main character is an author, and so this is her book. And it's basically just a rewriting of the TV show, scene by scene, but the characters are the characters in the book instead of Jane and Raph and Michael. And it's really interesting, and I'm just a shameless fan of this show, so I love all the little details about Jane and her acknowledgements and stuff. I couldn't resist buying this. I probably should have done, but I had to have it on my shelf. Silent Companions by Laura Purcell. This is a gothic novel that I read at Halloween. <laughs> She's literally going to do this in every shot. Enjoy. Uh, and it's basically just a, uh, an ode to all of your favourite gothic novels. In Victorian England it's about a woman who got married to a man with an old family home that hasn't been lived in for generations and when he goes back to get it ready for the, her to move in he dies in mysterious circumstances so a, a young widow she has to move in on her own with her husband's cousin. While they're exploring their new home they find a turret which has a locked door that hasn't been opened in hundreds of years. Inside they find a diary from the 1600s by one of her husband's ancestors and they also find these cardboard cutouts called Dutch Silent Companions where they're sort of life-size oil paintings. On the inside cover you can see one of them and basically it's just a uh, story of what happens as these spooky silent companions start affecting things in their in her new home very dark it's probably not one for younger than 12 13 because uh, it does get very dark at times uh, and not just scary but it deals with a lot of difficult topics but i couldn't resist this gorgeous cover and it's absolutely beautiful Next up we have Genuine Fraud by E. Lockhart. This is a retelling of the talented Mr. Ripley. It's told backwards, so you'll get scenes from a day and then it'll go back in time a month and you'll get scenes from another day. It's also gender bent, so the Mr. Ripley and the people he is trying to defraud are both women. If you like unlikable, nasty women, then this is one for you. They're amazing, the heroines of this book. They are unshamelessly evil, they go around murdering, changing identity, defrauding people. And if you like the same kind of rich lifestyle that's shown in We Were Liars, then you're going to really like this. I didn't like it as much as We Were Liars, but I love that book so much I was probably amping it up a little too much in my head, but I still really enjoyed it. Next, of course, is The Book of Dust by Philip Pullman. I went to the midnight release to this and I managed to get a signed copy. I'm not going to open it out here because it is actually snowing. But I read this immediately. It was so good. I'd been waiting for 13 years for this and it definitely paid off. It's, it gets surprisingly scary near the end as well. Um, I really like Malcolm. He's another very well-rounded character like Lyra and Will. And I can't wait to see how he appears in 15 years time in the secret commonwealth when he meets Lyra who's traveling to Asia. And then there was the word dust with a capital D as if it wasn't ordinary dust but something special. And lastly because I'm getting cold even if my dog isn't I have Miss Bunkle's book by D.E. Stevenson. This is a Persephone books title which if you don't know about it they are a bookshop in London who run their own printing press and they rescue novels which have been out of print usually from the 1930s by female British authors and they bring them back. So if you've seen the film Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day that was originally one of their long forgotten titles that they resurrected that got turned into a film. I went to the shop when I was in London and I basically just uh, googled which was the best one of theirs to buy because I hadn't heard of any of them and this one came up and I'm so glad I chose it. It was so funny and cute. It's a paperback but with a dust cover on it and this title is about Miss Bunkle who lives in a village and she writes a novel parodying all of the ridiculous figures who live in her village. and gives them publishes them under a pseudonym 
thinking that they'll never find out. Unfortunately, the book gets quite successful and someone in the village reads it and <laughs> recognises themselves in the pages and the villagers start trying to track down which of them wrote this terrible book. Miss Bunkle, meanwhile, is having a very sweet relationship with her publisher, who is never quite sure whether she wrote this silly book uh, as a joke and a parody or whether she actually meant it for real and she's not quite sure either anyway really gorgeous quick read and there's a sequel which i can't wait to get in the matching gray edition all of persephone books editions are come in this lovely dignified gray and the idea is that you don't have to worry about what's on the front if it's a gray persephone book you know you'll enjoy it it's amazing that you can go back and look at one of these videos from august when all of the flowers were out and now i've got another one in the snow i wish i'd done some in autumn but i was just on tour i was too busy but i'm definitely going to be doing this periodically through 2018 so i have videos from all seasons with book reviews because i just think it's a really nice way to see books and who can beat a lovely snowy atmosphere Okay, goodbye from me and goodbye from Cody who has snow on her nose.